Hello and welcome. This is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. In today's show, I'm going to share with you about a great pumpkin that glows. And also towards the end of the show in the Fiber Fun Talk, Christina Harkness has had her opening for the Community Coral Reef. I'm going to show you some images from that. And then also there's one more really cool thing I learned about trailing of the sheep. You've got to see it. So let's start talking about the pumpkin. It is fall and that means it's pumpkin time. I love it. A few years ago, I started making one pumpkin every autumn so that over my lifetime, I will have a lovely collection of fiber art pumpkins that are all very different and very interesting. I use this time to try out different things. So I was introduced to the yarn for this and it is glow yarn. When I was at Pop Yarn in Ybor City, Gage, the yarn husband, was giving us a tour of the yarns of the store and he introduced me to Amigurumi Glow by Circulo. And my mind got to thinking and I thought, yes, I'm gonna make this year's pumpkin with it. So my pattern for this is Trio of Pumpkins by Just Jen Designs. You can find the pattern on Ravelry and I'll put the link in the show's description. In that pattern, there are three sizes of pumpkins you can make. Hence the word trio of pumpkins. This is the largest pumpkin. You do not need to make a gauge. I just grabbed the yarn and started knitting, which is really fun because it didn't matter really how big it's gonna be. However, here's the thing. It calls for DK weight yarn and size 3.75 millimeter needles, which is US five. So this is a little bit thinner than DK, so I held it double. And then with the five needles, I started knitting and the knit was a little bit tight. I wasn't in the studio to be able to change out needles, so I just kept going. Because I knew if it ended up dense, it will probably be okay because it's not a garment. And all it made was when I was doing some increases, a little bit harder. So I just wanna let you know that if you happen to make a glow pumpkin, maybe just increase your needle size, but you'll figure that out as you're doing it. If it's tight, just make it a little just increase the size so that it's not so tight to work on. I got through it, I was happy, and now it is done. So it is a knit pattern. It is worked bottom up in circular needles or double points. And you just increase, then you work a bunch, and then you decrease. And to get these indentations, it's kind of cool. You just take the yarn through the center, up and around, until you have the sections that you want. You pull it tight, it's great. My little stem is from some wool that I had. It's a really fun project. Came out well. So for the yarn, I used two balls held double and there is no stretch to it. So just keep that in mind. Really fun. And what's really cool is check it out because here it is with the lights on and with the lights off. And I was pretty tickled because that is totally what I was going for. So now I've got my glow pumpkin. All right, let's go on to some fiber fun talk. You've heard me talk about the community coral reef and Christina Harkness. She had her opening day in Lincoln Center, Oregon. Check this out. These are her pictures from her Instagram, but I'm so thrilled to see them. It looks like it's going great and it is a beautiful, beautiful installation. If you're curious about what she's been doing, I'm going to include her website right here. You can go and check out the details directly. She's going to have another showing in March and I am going to go out for that one. And we're going to do a second interview and you'll get to see even more of it firsthand through me. So that would be secondhand. Anyway, I'm super excited for that as well. All right. There's one more thing I want to make you aware of because I just became aware of it a couple days ago. There is a five day festival in Ketchum, Idaho that is called Trailing of the Sheep. It is to celebrate herding and ranching sheep, but also from the different cultures around the world who did this. There are demonstrations and wool shows, but the biggest thing is the parade of sheep. These are the pictures that got me. 1500 sheep are walking through town. Does that blow your mind or what? If you're a fiber artist, and you love wool, then you love sheep, and then there's 1,500 of them. 
I think it just might blow my mind. So that made it to my list. I've got to get out there and do that sometime. But it just looks really cool. So you can check that out. Just Google trailing of the sheep, catch them Idaho. That'll get you to the information to learn more about that. Super cool. All right, everybody. I know autumn's a lot of fun. I want to wish you happy pumpkin making. And thanks for watching.